I love starting my videos this way. Thank you, new subscriber. Sheila White, you are awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Now let's jump in. Hey guys, what's up? It's JB the Veggie Man, and today I'm showing you what my pepper seedlings are looking like. So if we start over here on the right, that is my early jalapeno. That's how those seedlings are looking. As we move to the left here, that's the white cloud. That's like a white bell pepper. And then as we move over here to the far left, we have the rainforest pepper. That's how they're doing. I'm gonna do shots of each one up on top of the grow tent. Okay. Next here we have the pepper dew pepper. As you can see, I only got a few of those. Took them a really long time to germinate, so I'm glad I actually got at least a few of them. Then we come over here, we go into the, uh, those are the chocolate habaneros. And then over here is the Texas, the native chili pekins that we have growing wild here all around San Antonio and throughout South Texas. They also took a really long time to germinate. Okay, so, and it. then my last three is the ahi orange drops. Those are the black cobras. And those are the pumpkin spice jalapenos, which aren't doing that great. They started off really strong and then they just kind of took a dive on me. But as long as I can get a few plants out of each variety, I'll be happy. So the crazy thing is, here's a shot of kind of step step back and the crazy thing is here in San Antonio probably like most of the country we're going to have a really cold weekend and in the next week so we're going to have a low on Monday of like eight degrees and Sunday is going to be like 12 degrees so it's going to be really cold so it's still not quite time for these guys to go out <laughs> it's going to be a little while before they can go outside so in the meantime, I'm just taking care of them, and uh, I wanted to give you guys an update to see where they're at. Okay guys, here's a look at what I've been using for fertilizer. It's Neptune's Harvest and distilled water. And this particular one, it's, it's an organic fertilizer, Neptune's Harvest. It's a 2-3-1, uh, which is a good fertilizer for, as a starter fertilizer, because um, it's not real strong, and that's kind of what you want for your seedlings. Nothing too strong because uh, it could end up hurting them more than helping them. And I use distilled water. I mix about two capfuls uh, per gallon. But what I normally do is transfer uh, one thing of distilled water into, uh, let me show you guys, into another bottle. So I'll just pour the amount that I'm going to use uh, for that feeding in another bottle and then put just a, a little bit of Neptune's Harvest Fertilizer in that bottle, shake it up, and feed all my plants because I don't like to leave it in the bottle uh, with the fertilizer in it uh, for any longer than I need to. So I just do it every feeding, uh, gets a set amount, and that's how I prevent having to leave fertilizer. I'm not really sure if anybody was interested or not, but that's kind of the inside of the grow tent, and that's how I have my lights set up. And those are my warming mats and those are the that right there that's the plug for the thermostat so that's uh, I don't think I showed you guys that when I showed the initial setup for this so that's how I have the bottom of the grow tent set up with the heating mats and the thermostats and then as we go up top you guys can see back there in the back that's where my thermostats are at just sitting on top of the uh, Okay, now we'll jump in. They're back in the tent. I don't have the warmers on because there's really no reason. Uh, so the thermostats and everything are unplugged. The only thing that I have on right now are the lights and they are getting light for about 12 hours a day. So they're getting about 12 hours of light and 12 hours of dark, complete dark, which is important that they do get some actual darkness. Now, I could go probably as far as 16 or even 18 hours of light if I wanted to. I, I think 12 hours is sufficient. They might be doing a little bit better if I was using a little bit uh, more light, giving them a little bit more light, but they're doing good enough for me. And the reason why I start so many of each is because I only need two or three good ones per seed, uh, seed tray. 
So if I get a couple of good ones from each, I'm happy because I'm only probably going to grow about 15, eh, 15 to 20 plants somewhere in that ballpark. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I hope you're enjoying the videos. I hope you like the content that I'm putting out. I'm really proud of it. Um, shout out to my new subscribers. Uh, I'll do another shout out in the beginning uh, of, <laughs> I'm trying to do a new shout out in the beginning of my videos uh, for every time I get a new subscriber, whenever it notifies me. Um, if it gives me the name of the subscriber, I like to give them a shout out. So uh, thanks you, thank you to everybody for, for subscribing and liking the videos. Um, I really, I'm really hoping to grow the channel and keep making some content for you guys because I really do enjoy it and I really enjoy uh, getting new subscribers. It, it really does make my day.